Asians been here? Got the new Gretsch on the bench. What? Ben got a new Gretsch? Ben did get a new Gretsch. Well, new to me Gretsch. Uh, it is a, I think never mind, Streamliner. I know that because they're pretty much all Streamliners. Unless they're Jets. I don't know how that works. Uh, G2420 is the model. Then it says V-Lamb. I don't, I don't know. Virtual farm animals? I don't know. Anyways, um, not sure what it's strung up with. Wish I had one of those micrometer gauges so I could just clamp on a string and it'll tell me, oh, it's this. So I don't know what it is. Um, never done that tailpiece like this. But why don't we, here, why don't we move you into the movie better? Mm, there we go. Oh, look at that. Um, some of them have hinges on some of the guitars. You know, out of the way. This does not. So apparently the bridge is pinned. We'll find out when we take the strings off. But before we take the strings off, just because I don't know if it is, in fact, it says in the fact in the manual and stats. Oh, she's she's uh pinned. That's the word I was looking for. But you know what? To be on the safe side, easiest way to mark where your bridge is. Put a piece of tape along the end. And I'll grab a piece of tape. This is a good uh, lesson for those who, I guess I could have used a color tape that contrasts a bit more, but basically put a strip across along the end and a strip along one of the edges. So that makes a corner that that fit into is what I'm saying. So let's get the strings off this thing. I suppose I can pause the video while I take the strings off. Well, I could, but we won't. And so, uh, strings that are on it aren't bad, but uh, a fella noticed that uh, it's got a wound G string on it, and uh, I've never owned a guitar with a wound G string. And after trying to bend that string several times while playing, I'd rather not, why not here? Why is this? There, perfect. So, yes, we're going with a non-wound string. Again, looked up on the uh, line. I saw that this thing shipped with uh, 10 through 46 gauge strings. And based on the fact that my other Gretsch, I went from 11s to 9s and it went anemic, so I had to go back to 10s. Mazel well stick with 10s and you know, I'll be dipped. Got a pack of 10s right here from Brad Guitar Miller. Uh, Dodario's. Oh, you're stuck in the nut. Good thing it doesn't have a wiggle stick with that much binding in the nut, if as you will. You gonna fix that, Ben? No. Again, no wiggle stick, don't care. Tuning stability, boy, well, but if you bend a note, well, that's true. We'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. That's another video. Right, right. Plus I don't own any true nut files, so. All I'm gonna do is wrap a little sandpaper around the string and sss, 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 sss. That's all, all right. Oh. Okay, well that was easy. Clearly it had Dodario's on it from when I got it, because you can tell by the rainbow of ball string ends. String ball. String end balls, ball end strings. They are ball end strings, but string end balls? I don't know. What do you call that? A string ball? No. Pretty sure that's when all your strings get tangled up to each other like Christmas lights. That's a string ball. All right. Four and a half minutes in. Fortunately, this thing is remarkably clean. Um, Pickguard scratched pretty good, but which I don't know. Would you like to see a video on how to restore a pickguard? You know, in other words, alleviate the scratches. If you want to see a video on that. Comment down below. I do like the fact on the F hole where they paint that, you know, that edge black. It's very fancy. So is this pinned? Oh yeah, right here. Oh, with the height adjustments. 
you, sometimes they put very small little actual pins like finishing nails but no, this one they just go right on through to the other side that's cool a little block under there of some kind too all right well i would like to remove that temporarily because i want to put some uh that is some seriously dry wood how the frets look i'm trying to get a glare i'm not necessarily looking down the neck but just want to see. yeah they're they're fine they're fine all right let's uh oil up this uh laurel fretboard laurel which is actually it's quite dark you know that's kind of the one detractor is there even any coming out i don't know this 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 area has nothing but inlay so it's kind of hard to tell but uh yeah i was curious to see how you know orange or red it gets once the old moisture is applied and so far i'm liking what i'm seeing why why oh that's why there we go let's turn the light actually so it's more actually shining on the instrument there we go how's 2023 20, treating you so far nice nice there we go what Rick Beato is up to today. There we go. Yeah, yeah, sure. Sure. Oops. Now we'll just oil the body too. Mazel. Get in there. Oh, that's unfinished big time. Well, it's going to have more on it than it did before. Yeah, I'm even doing the underside and the sides. Let's just, you know, make sure this gets all the moisture so it warps on us or something, right? I don't know. Do people oil this part? I don't know. And I'm pretty sure I just went right across the height adjustment screw, so we will be checking the action after the fact. Sure. There we go. That, that, that's fine. Do we have a piece of paper towel for a sacrificial lamb? Sure. There we are. Oh, I flipped this around 15,000 times in my hand, so I have no idea which way's forward now. Perfect. I guess we don't need the tape on there since it's clearly pinned. Sure, let's go over there. So we're just going to remove that tape and pretend that we didn't apply it to the guitar five minutes ago. Anyways, back to fretboard. bound neck didn't notice that how did i not notice that oh, i probably did and then just forgot lifestyle choices sure yeah yeah all right no one's messaging me perfect gotta keep an eye on the end the notification situations uh, my father's not feeling too well so hopefully we don't have to send them off to the place where all the sick people go that's all i'm hoping on so positive thoughts there we go oh that looks nice just saying all right uh microfiber cloth that's not in this room all right now i have to pause the movie because i need a microfiber cloth all right vape break while we got the cloth because there isn't really any mung per se on here but you know a fella just wants to get the fingerprints down to a normal level and polish up the chrome because i find the best thing to polish up this chrome with is just just a cloth half the time you know wow these pickups are dirty do i have any chrome polish most of that stuff you know it's got aggressiveness and grits pull off the turner so we're just going to pretend that we already did that all right now this was filthy i wanted a 
want to polish on this. Tone breath. Not everybody has tone breath. Most musicians do, and they don't even know they have it. It's hidden superpower, if you didn't already know. There we go. That looks much more presentable. Sure. Guy never polished his knobs, that's for sure. All the tarnishing. There. Nice. All right. So how long are we in? I don't know. I paused it and then restarted it. Do you get a deck goal? Do you get any case candy in a pack of Dodario XLs? XL. That should be like your 12 gauge. I don't know. XL extra large. I don't know. I'm sure it stands for something like extended life. I, I am not knowing. I'm shrugging. Alright. Might as well put the bridge back on since we're here. It doesn't need to be polished. Nope. We'll just pretend that we already did. Oh wait, I need where where I forget what's what. Well, those are the two thinnest. Your why? How how come on? Yeah, come on, come on, come on. Oh, there we go. Perfect. All right. Where where did that pack? Oh, there it is. Oh. Oh, bending over is overrated. All right. I can never remember. Or is it on the bag that I threw away? I don't, I don't. Oh, here we are. Made with fine grain, high temper, high carbon steel wire. All right. So, let's start with the thickest. So brass is the E, red is the A. That, that, that's fine. So we take the A string, brace it in the mouth. Looks like, did these wrap over? No, they didn't. One and three quarter to two wines, that's all I ever need. Red. Do, 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 do. Neither one of you went in the saddle. That's oh, you both went between the saddle. That's that's a wedgification situation. How'd that happen? There, there. Sure. Next, D is black. Black on black. I hate this shark. I don't know. Right? I'm in a band with a gang or something. They're in a bang with a gang, which I thought was a little, ooh, that's a little aggressive sounding. How, there we go. All right, what do we need again? Well, Ben, one's plain and one's wound. You do the math. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Fun yet? Are we learning? No, we're not learning. Where, 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 where? Oh, there. See, since I didn't talk there, I could do a fast forward part through that, but yeah, that's how it's like editing and digitals and production, and, oh, creativity, cinematography. Yeah, no, it's not actually. There we go. And of course, you're off the saddle because you're always off the saddle. Everybody's off the saddle. All right, next. Two more to go. Like someone's finishing up in the washroom upstairs. Purple is the bee. And hopefully, someone doesn't fall down during the return journey. notice my hand uh, I pull up on the string with two fingers and I use the index finger to push down behind the nut um, doing it this way will increase scratches on your truss rod cover or headstock face if whatever the surface is under there however by doing that I'm ensuring that the wines stick to the bottom of the tuning peg and kind of push up the other wines as we go I'm not saying it's the right way. I'm not saying it's the wrong way. I'm just saying it's my way. You need to be in that slot and save the next slot for your friend. All right, where, what? Oh, I was talking and then dropped. That's probably it right here on the floor. Well, fortunately we don't have to put it back in my mouth because I haven't swept in a bit in here. Easy. There we go. There. And I always bend up the string, try to give it a little kink so it doesn't want to pull through the tuner as you're winding, which works about 43% of the time. And then you just, ah, I am getting, ah, all kinds of pokes in the forearm from all the strings. Now I know how Quentin James feels. All right, easy. Easy, easy, oh, I got itchy nose. All right, so what I'm gonna do is use the uh, official l &M Guitar Corner String Stretcher. It, oh, I tried to, um, felt that coming on. I'm trying to get the sentence out before I paused. Anyways, I'm gonna get it up to pitch and uh, stretch the strings and then I'll be back. Apparently we're tuned and or stretched. Sure. So, E string. Actually, you know what? There we go. Uh, let's check the action. Since, you know, messing around and moving around and what do we want? 64ths. What am I looking for? I don't know. Because honestly, I'm just going to measure at the 12th fret. And, uh... 
Nice, three and a half, 60 fourths. Yep, that's the measurement I'm using. Closer to two. Let's bring that up a bit. Why you keep sliding away from me? Sure. Yeah, slightly out of tune, but that's okay. Strings are still apparently stretching. They were stretching a lot, by the way. Not to mention, we raised the action. Anyways, E string, intonation. Yep. It is a skosh. Um, flat, that's the word. Where's the slot screwdriver? I want it right there, I guess. this time. Yes, this is how I set my intonation on its back, not in the playing position. If you don't like it, watch another channel. You use just a little something, something. Anyways, here we go. Gretsch 24 G2420. See if I remember that by the time I upload the video. I'm not checking the neck relief, honestly, because it played great. Uh, this thing did play great. In fact, I did need to raise the action a bit. I was going to do that anyways, because I noticed the action was a touch low for me. It wasn't buzzing, but I don't know. It's just I've never had to actually raise the action on a guitar before for comfort level so once again i've been ben you've been you this has been a guitar restring and setup on the new guitar well new to me guitar and again comment down below if you want to see how to restore a pick guard and i can do that and uh, then once you watch the video you can too there we go so peace folks have a good one cheers rock on See you in the, no, I won't see you in the next one. I'll see you the next time you put out a video. You'll see me the next time I put out a video. That's how it works. Easy. Cheers.